today I'm gonna show you where these questions of yours like why I'm not lovable or am I lovable why I don't have direction why I don't know where I'm going like feeling lost where it is coming from we are looking in the G center in the human sign and it has the shape of a diamond you can find it like in the middle kind of in, in your chart so let's say this uh, this is your G center now this center is a center of love direction and purpose now people who have this center defined meaning which is colored in they uh, have the, the consistent uh, or consistent energy of that center which means they know who they are they know where they are going but it doesn't mean that there cannot be a conditioning now most likely you are the person who has this center in your chart undefined or open that means it's not colored in that means it's white now when your center uh, the g center or any center is white it means it's uh, it's like uh, it's a wisdom is the is a huge wisdom for you to learn and understand all about the theme of that center in this case it's uh, the center of love self-love direction purpose in life so you are really here to be wise about identities, about love, about self-love. You'll learn a lot and you can help people with that too. But you also take in and amplify the energy of others. Now, without knowing this, you take it as you, as yours. And I'm going to a little bit show you now, like visually, how... It looks like and it explains why you feel or asking you yourself those questions and I will also um, help you and show you how you can actually find the answers so that's that's your G center you came here and um, I will I will use uh, like a circle because I think this is uh, easier so you came here and you start shining your life your laugh you love everything and everyone because you you are a walking laugh okay i'm using the the yellow because i like it and uh, it represents like yellow with the light okay and white you wouldn't see anyway so you are you come here you are a child and you are shining you are walking love like literally because you 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 shine the universal love you shine the love of your parents you you are walking love right you are enjoying you are we don't care really uh you just shine your light the love you have right and uh, it, it's it's nice and people love it your parents also love it right this is uh it's therefore so amazing to be around kids right because they have this energy and the love and acceptance and understanding and innocence mainly right but then then starts something like if you don't behave we will not like you right you have to people please you have to uh, or you are too much right and then you start taking in all these negativities all these these uh, identities of others as well you feel them you take them in well uh, everyone you come across with this is another child this is another person another adult right as a kid and now what happens is it's it's messing up with your light and there is some confusion there is some uh, you know this 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 you start questioning that is a time when you start questioning, am I lovable? 
like you start being like a chameleon in the way that you around others that you do and take the identity of others uh, to in order to be accepted to or in order to be loved you sacrifice yourself and then because it shadows your light yourself your true self then you start talking to yourself in this negativity as well you start believing it and you start experiencing it right so uh, you start questioning, I'm, I am not lovable, I don't deserve love, I am I'm not a good person, um, I will not be uh, successful, I cannot make it, right? And it starts striking, it starts messing up with your life, light and with your life. Now, it will it will go till some point. It always does. How long you are able to handle this? How how long you are able to accept this not truth? Now, you you decide you make an inner decision. It kind of it really doesn't help too much if you do it um, through the mind. Although, of course, you can, but according to my experience, uh, when the decision comes from the heart, from the soul, from the deep within you, that is what it has the most uh, effect. And you, let's say, you, you find the human design, okay? You start deconditioning this, uh, this darkness, this uh, negativity within you, and you, you find the human design. Right, and you realize that, uh, or you learn about yourself that you have open G center, and it's actually a gift. And you start deconditioning, and you start bringing this light into you, right, and into your G center, and you start understanding also why this this darkness happened how important gift it is you accept it you start loving it you start understanding because now you understand that you become the person or you became the person who you are because of this and it's tremendous power and it's tremendous gift to others now you know that it's very important for you to be picky about your friends and the people you are interacting with and people you or also the places as well right yes it it uh, can sometimes come back because this is really it's, it's deep and it started in your childhood but as you see you can it's it's you can deal with it you can deal with it and you understand that from that comes more of your power you claim more of it and it dissolves slowly. See. And and you slowly and effortlessly you becoming yourself and in touch with yourself again on a very deep level. Okay. So I just want to show you again I'm not uh, any any painter or something I just want to show you that you come here let's say with uh, this uh, clean slate of course we are not talking about past karmas and things but you come here with this clean slate and you shine your as an open G center you shine the light I all of my people or clients I, I was talking to and I found out they are open G centers or undefined G centers, they have so much love. They have so much they it, they're they're bursting the love. It's so amazing to be in their presence and feel the love. And like it's activating your, your love within you. 
as well. But then, because you don't know it, and of course this is all planned ahead, your soul, your or higher self, put in this, this darkness on a purpose. So you can become the person who you are meant to be. You, you can find and acclaim your power. That's the game. It wouldn't be really a fun if you think about it. Of course, everyone wants it, but if you really think about it, what would be the point to be alive? What would be the point to be here if we don't go through that? Through this uh, circle or through this learning curve, let's say. Okay, it can be done in a different way. So, you start having and taking in all these uh, beliefs and identities of others that mess up with your sense where you are going and uh, who you are, other you, you will not have really this, this full all the time sense, but you are not designed that way because you are designed to help or understand. And let's say you are a coach or you want to be a coach or a teacher, this taking in the identity of others and uh, amplifying it and feeling it like dressing it on you is tremendous help for them because through that you really understand you feel you you step into their shoes you step into their G center and you understand you feel who they are and where they are going and through that you see where they are going wrong on the path and you can correct them it's a huge and tremendous gift also, it's very easy for you to um, really have friends because you have the ability to to change the 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 self, the sense of self, according to the others. But you should never ever do that. You change yourself in the way you don't want to be. You don't feel good in order to be loved, in order to be successful, or in order to be accepted. I mean, successful in order to be loved and to be accepted. So all this has a purpose. This darkness. It's a learning time. It's a learning. There are huge, there's a huge lesson in this for you. Now, in the G center, as I said, it's a, it's a center of love, self-love and direction. And... There are gates, we call it gates, which are the energies, or I call it like sub-energies of that center, you have access to. But during uh, this, this, this uh, period of learning, you really don't have the full access, or you don't have the access of the, the gift, the higher higher energy of that of that gate of that frequency. So, let's say let's say there is uh, the gate number ten, which repre represents the self love. Okay, it's a self love. It's a it's a energy where you learn about your uniqueness, where you you really tap and master the self love. It's a genuine self love. Now, there is another gate, it's just 15. It's another love gate, which is about loving the humanity. It's, it doesn't have to be necessarily to love a person, right? You love the humanity, you have to love me. No, 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 you love, it's a, accepting and loving the humanity as humanity and accepting uh, also the diversity of behaviors without judgment. It's a very powerful gate. There is a gate 46, which is a love for your physical body or the physical body. Because our physical body, we, it's our instrument, it's our vehicle, it's uh, how we can be, how you are not the pure consciousness only, how you can experience the life here, how you can be a human in the human form. And you love the body and you understand that every body, every shape of the body, 
deserves to be loved and worshipped because the body has the ability to to really support you and it can hold tremendous amount of stress of, of this right it supports you it holds it's patient as long as as possible of course until you reach here and uh, it does it in uh, three different ways for example through which is my experience through gaining weight gaining weight is the self-protection or protection love protection uh, mechanism of your body so you can hold you can you can stand the stress you can survive it and you can thrive and when you come out from from this curve of this learning from this let's say darkness and you start shining your light again you start deconditioning the weight the the accessible weight is no needed anymore and it can be released this is just an example there are more things how your body can uh, react to things this is one of them this is my experience and now there is the 25 gate Gate 25 is the universal love, is unconditional love, is a connection with your spirit. Now, despite of uh, if you have these uh, gates defined or not in your chart, you ha have the access to those energies. If it's defined for you in there, it's, it just says that you have consistent access to the energy, but it doesn't mean that if it's white that you don't, you do. You do have an access to the energy. And you shine it. You shine it here when you come into the world. Here, right? As a kid, and then you shine again. But then you you start, you know, clouding it. And all of a sudden, you know, and there's also gate number two, which is the purpose and direction in life. So when uh, when it is darkened through accepting the limitations from others, through uh, taking identities of others which were not you, you, you don't really have that full access to those energies, or you also have the, you are taking in not only this beautiful energy, but you are also taking uh, the low expression of those energies, meaning for example, the uh, constrictions. So uh, you feel constricted. You feel limited. You know. So where where are you? Uh, where are you constricting life in you in your body? You can feel it through the tightness. It can be chest. It can be lower back. It can be here shoulders. It can be belly. You know there where is the tightness. It usually is a, is a here because it's a G center, right? But usually is on the chest. And when you release the constriction, then you can breathe again. And you, um, it's it's softening. It's uh, it's lighter here as well. But if uh, you take some, you are with someone who has these constrictions, and you have this openness here, you take it in. And without having the knowledge that this is not you, but it's your gift to just take in the energy amplified, learn from it and let it go. Then you take it as you, as yours. And that is why this this uh, darkening, this deep darkening is happening. Right? Or it can be uh, self-obsession or it can be that you're waiting for your life to start. Right? Or it can be feeling um, or experiencing dullness in life. It, and all of this creates those questions like, I am not lovable. Am I lovable? Like, what shall I do to be lovable, to be accepted? I mean, where is where is the direction? Where am I going in life? Right? Of course, it can be those questions can be also for you if you have defined G-Center. Because of this huge uh, uh, conditioning what you took on. It can be. It's just uh, more likely for people who have this center undefined. Who have it or white uh, meaning undefined or open. So therefore, when you are in this, when you, when you allow and you do allow, 
yourself to to believe and to take these energies on and dress them and wear them and and take them as you as yours there is where those questions are coming from because everything is clouded these uh this high frequency of those sub energies in your center in your g center are clouded they are not uh, like like really high or really shining at you because they are under the cloud of the conditioning cloud of fears cloud of like disconnection with yourself with your true self with your, with your soul with your higher self so human design can really help you to go through through this and understand why why this happened or what what's happening why where what's your direction we can help you together to to see what is your direction where are you going who are you through the deconditioning process here as we, we start with the human design reading it's very powerful very shifting very it's uh, really amazing how that works i experienced it myself a couple of times i experienced it with others as well with my clients uh, with my friends i see also with others how powerful and shifting it is and freeing it has all the knowledge uh, that it needs or you need to be um, aligned with yourself again. So let go of this this uh, conditioning, let go of this, this darkness. Although this darkness, uh, what I love to do is uh, this is a very important part of your life. That is where the huge gift and your personality is forming. And why are you here? You wouldn't be experiencing this if there wouldn't be a higher purpose or we can call it even divine purpose here so you can help others to do the same or you can help others in different ways that is what we can find out together or i help you to find out and give you all the technology for that and start deconditioning it for yourself and uh, of course with my help and support i'm here to help and support to listen because i have also uh, the 33rd gate defined which uh, allows me to to really listen to you as well and also and other things i can give you insights i can i can uh, help you to understand and answer the questions why that happened to me because there are, there, there are um, specific things in your life, right? Now, you understand it in this moment that it happened for you to learn something. But what is it to learn? Right? So we can go together into the specificity. And through different technologies, I can help you to really release this block, release this conditioning. I have learned a lot. And we can apply... Uh, a combination, also a powerful combination of those gates. Uh, sorry, of those of those technologies. So that is, I hope it uh, answered your questions a little bit. So um, or you get the understanding of where it is coming from, and you also know now that it can be changed. It can be. You have to just decide to change it. And when you decide, I am here for you and here to help you.